Well, howdy, everybody. Elk Rex here. I'm getting back into playing another board game again. Uh, it's been over a year now since we played Empires and Alliances. This is World War I. Uh, this is a continuation remake of Guns of August, which is one of my favorite uh, board games. And they improved upon it. So I just have the itch to play this one again. So get the rule book out. Here we go. Compass Games. And here, so basically we got the Western Front right here with uh, Belgium. Germany and France all lined up against each other. Belgium is neutral at the moment. So is Britain. And so if the Germans come crushing, crushing across the line there into Belgium, it's going to make things a lot more interesting. And over here, we have the war has begun in Serbia. So you got the Austrian-Hungarian forces and the bluish gray and there in the white is serbia with their little forces standing up against the big juggernaut of austrian hungary and over here protecting their little buddies is the russians they're all lined up up against the austrian hungarians and facing off over here with a token force of germans versus the russians so most of the German forces are over here on the Western Front. And we'll just have to see how this works out. Now, being that I'm playing against myself, I'm going to try my best to make sure both sides win. You know, you always got to assess the situation and look at, you know, how the best way a unit can win or offensive can get kicked off, etc. And looking for your buddies to help out, etc. So I'll be doing that with both sides, you know, trying to make sure that both sides have a good chance of winning this game. But you know, dice rolls are what they are. It's like the last time I played this one, the Allies did win. I think it was 1917 before they did win the war. Uh, but France had was taken out. And by 19, I think it was 1915 the last time I played. And all the German forces came over here, but eventually they got stopped outside of St. Petersburg and Moscow. Their offense just petered out. And then it was war weariness and supply and all that. Basically, the Russians were able to come back and along with some... British and British for well the British had taken out the Austrian the, the Ottoman Empire and took out Bulgaria and Romania joined the fray so it was they took eventually took out uh Austria which turned around they had to for, pull German forces and all that so if you're really curious uh I got all that in a playlist you know from turn by turn until the war was over so if you want to watch see all of that's all about go watch the other one too so i'm going to go link down below in the header uh the previous uh game and the unboxing so the first video was the unboxing of this game so i'll probably make that the first one on this playlist also just so you know what's going on with all the goodies and then we'll go from there so turn one will commence soon enough all right Hope you guys like this one and look forward to playing this game. And this is good. Last time, I think it took me a month to play this one because it was like almost 40 turns, 39 turns or something like that. And I do a turn a day. So that's over a month of play. So that's how long my table is out of commission. All right. So we'll see what happens and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, hope Rick's out.